Hello and welcome back to Merkman Tips. Today we're looking at a 2014 E220 CDI and this engine has a timing chain problem. When started up in the morning, it's got a very loud rattle for two to three seconds. So if repaired early, you can get away with changing the timing chain and the timing chain tensioner. But if it's not rectified early, then the loose timing chain will eventually break the timing chain guides. So what I'm going to do first is remove the injectors and the rocker cover and inspect the timing chain guides. All right, so we have just removed the rocker cover and the first thing we wanted to do is inspect the timing chain guides. And unfortunately, we found this piece, which is part of the guide on the right hand side and once we look down we can see the guide is broken from the bottom pin and the only way to change these guides is to remove the engine so unfortunately on this job we're going to have to remove the engine and the next thing to do at this stage is to remove the gearbox so now we are underneath the vehicle and the dpf and the catalytic converter has been removed and now we're going to remove the gearbox so the prop shaft is going to be disconnected the gearbox oil and the torque converter oil is going to be drained and then the gearbox should be ready to be removed now we have the torque converter and the gearbox removed and we are ready to go back underneath the bonnet right now that we have removed the gearbox, the engine is ready to be removed. We're going to disconnect the engine mounts, disconnect some of the wiring, the coolant hoses and the intake hoses, and also the aircon hoses. And then we're ready to get the engine out with our crane. Okay, so we have the engine removed and now we need to remove some EGR parts on this side, remove this top cover, remove the flywheel and then the back cover behind the engine and then we can see the guides, the guides, guide pins and then I can show you a bit more clearly exactly where it's broken. Right, so we have the rear cover removed. And as you can see, it's quite a complex gearing system on there. Now that's the crankshaft pulley, which is then connected to the high pressure fuel pump gearing. And this is the vacuum pump gearing. Now this is the bottom gearing for the timing chain. And it's this guide that's broken from the bottom. You can't really see it from here, but I will show you once I've removed it. So now at this stage, I'm going to change both the guides, put the new chain on, get the timing right, put the tensioner in and then hopefully be ready to put this engine back into the car. So we finally have the old guides out and you can see more clearly exactly where it's broken and these are all the pieces we've found in the engine. So what causes this is the timing chain stretches, it wears out and when you start in the morning there's a loud rattle for two to three seconds and that rattle is the timing chain hitting this guide and if you don't change the chain in time this guide will break and to change the guides the engine will need to be removed costing you more than double what it would have costed if you would have just changed the chain on time so now we're ready to put the new timing chain in let's put these new guides in and the tensioner and get this engine back into the car
Right, so we have the engine running, no problems whatsoever, and that's another job done. So thank you for watching the video, and don't forget to subscribe to Markman Tips.